So, I'll show you a tricky part of the production. This is the side of the stack pack and uh, this is the front edge and this is the half moon. This is the half moon when it's ready cut to assemble to the rest of the cover. But how do we get this far? We'll show you how we do it. First take a piece of cover fabric roughly cut with the scissors only. This is the woven uh, edge of the fabric. Take a ruler, draw a line to mark a hem. It's eight centimeters. Eight centimeters. Put a mark at one end. The stack height of this very cover is 75 centimeters. So we put a mark there and 75 centimeters away we put another mark. Then put a new mark four centimeters away from the first mark on this side and on this side. Now these marks you move them up to the seam allowance line and that one as well and likewise on the other side like that and like that. So this is the front edge of the side of the stack pack. I have made a small mark there and this is exactly the seam allowance that will be down by the boom and I mark this and on the other side this is the seam allowance that will uh, come when you sew the zipper. Now you take a very thin rib and you take a grip at one end exactly where the seam allowance is. This is the height of a ready sewn cover. Take this grip, hold it firmly. This is exactly the length of the curved part of the half moon. Now take it to this part, the roughly cut half moon, bend the rib, put it exactly by one mark there and one mark there. Then you take one of your employees, give them a pencil, tells them to hold the rib so it doesn't move when she draws the line. Please draw the line. Now shift grip. And continue to draw the line all the way to the other side. This is, this is exactly the same length that you have at the edge front of the So cover. now we will cut the half moon. We use a supersonic equipment. It's very rational. Uh, actually it's much better than a heat knife.
Andre. That's it. This is what it looks like when it's ready cut. And now if you try, you can notice that if you put it exactly by the front of the, ed front, the front edge of the cover, it will have exactly the, le the same length so that you can assemble them and they will match when they come to the end. Of course, one has to be careful if you stretch one part of the fabric and you don't stretch the other one, then it might differ a little bit. It's in the seamstress' hands.